that's it. I think we're online. So let's get started. Well, Matt, uh, first of all, thank you very much for being here with us. It's a, it's a pleasure to have you here. I think that everybody that develops for iOS knows you by now. But uh, maybe you'd like to give a little introduction of yourself. Sure. Um, yeah, I can do that. Um, yeah, so I started with iOS back when um, iOS first came out. Uh, and actually have a bit of a story of how I got into even doing iOS. I um, did a ski season in Canada mm -hmm. uh, just after I left university and had some money left over at the end and I thought, what should I do with it? And the iPod Touch had just come out and I thought, I'll buy that. <laughs> and then, um, so I may not have bought that, but that led me to then start developing iOS apps when the first SDK came out. I, uh -huh. Of course, back then it was called iPhone SDK. Mm -hmm. So I may not have ever got into iPhone programming if I hadn't bought that iPod Touch, which is quite a uh, funny, funny little story. <laughs> um, and then since then, I've um, I've done many things. I uh, worked on um, a company where I was building a, a SDK for doing uh, voice and video calling, a bit like Skype. We did mm -hmm. this way before we even had the APIs in um, iOS to capture video, which is quite cool, quite fun. Um, uh -huh. That got my love for getting deep into things. Uh, we had to like really hook, like do some quite shady things to get into actually being able to access the camera. Uh -huh. um, and that's what really got my desire for wanting to dig, dig deep into things. Um, and that's where I then got a lot of inspiration from my book, which um, I released uh -huh. uh, a couple of years ago now, Effective Objective C. Mm -hmm. um, because I like to like dig into the code and dig in and see exactly how things work, and I hopefully shared that through the book of you know, the, the the internals and the depths and all the things you don't really need to know, but if you do understand, then help you uh, with that. And that, and then now I work at Facebook. Um, I'm working in a product team in Facebook, and we we build um, a lot of the front facing things like the composer and mm -hmm. ways of sharing. Uh, content with your friends and anything you anything when you, you get the composer in Facebook everything behind that that's all us um, so and that's really good I responsible for us not being able to share anything outside of Facebook there's no <laughs> share anything with uh, whatever yeah. on Facebook yeah I can't comment too much on obviously the uh, the product decisions we make there. Um, they're far beyond my 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 control. Um, but yeah, it's cool. I actually I'm actually an engineering manager now, so I, I code a lot less. Um, but it's really it's really awesome working there. Um, get to work with some great people, and now I'm really enjoying the management thing of helping others, uh, mentoring them, and yeah, it's kind of like I got my love of teaching from writing the book and writing for the RayWenderlake.com website, and I'm uh, trying to show that through my management now of like helping bring up junior engineers into senior engineers and seeing them grow and learn from what I can do. Okay. By the way, uh, your your book is one of the the books that I do recommend to all our our students. So if <laughs> any one of you hasn't bought it yet, this is the right moment. To get into yeah. uh, Amazon, I think they're they're running a special discount day today. It's the, the oh yeah. Okay. yeah, so maybe you can get a discount there. And by the way, did you when, when did you join Facebook? Yeah, I joined Facebook in January of last year, okay. so I've been there a year and a half now. It, to be honest, the time has flown. Um, similarly, I it seems like yesterday that I joined. Um, funny anecdote is that um, the speed that Facebook's growing, I've actually been at Facebook now for longer than I think 65% uh, of people, wow. which is crazy. Um, like it's more than doubled in the time that I've been there. Uh, I think I hit I hit the 50% mark at, mm -hmm. at about a year in. Wow. Um, it's 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 crazily growing. Faster. That's through the London uh, Development Center or the, the whole company. The whole company. Um, London is growing quicker than that. We are building up a really fantastic team in London, uh, especially uh, iOS uh -huh. and Android following along behind. Like They're doing great work now. We're getting some great Android people in and doing some great work. Um, yeah, it's, it's awesome. Because I, I remember when I, when I went to uh, Facebook at uh, Menlo Park, 
I was teaching mm. a, a course there for the Bigner Ranch, and uh, I, I saw um, kind of a billboard with a very peculiar uh, message that I think it, it says a lot about the, the philosophy of the, of the company. It said, hire fast and fire faster or something like that. <laughs> I've not seen that one. Uh, we have we yeah. have a few of those company slangs like uh, move fast and break things, which we yeah. kind of changed to yeah, move, just move fast. Um, yeah, I, I really like the culture of Facebook. It's got a, it's it's got the right balance between you know staying like a small company, but also embracing um, embracing the fact that it's growing and lots of people are using it, and um, it's it's cool. It's cool. Well, do you miss coding since you right now you're doing more of a kind of a Geek really yeah, or I get asked that. relations, whatever you want. <laughs> um, I do miss coding a bit. Um, I, I do still code a little bit, but what I really enjoy doing about um, the management job at Facebook is I I'm pretty free to define the role as I want it to be. So some managers do still code a lot, and they'll probably manage fewer people because of that, um, and they'll but they'll still have a great tech. Tech, technical contribution. What I've done is I've tried to I'm trying to make my role more into um, like dealing with the architecture and helping with that side of things, which I think I can uh, that I, I can I can do the code and I enjoy doing that. But I prefer I like a lot like figuring out architecture and figuring out how our thing fits in with other things mm -hmm. and and sort of building the product as well. So as a manager, I get the freedom to to do that, which is why I chose the management route. Um, and I can um, have other people who really like doing coding do the actual coding, and I can help them with the architecture and the product. Okay. Okay. And by the way, how was the experience of writing a book? <laughs> um, it was it was hard. I will say that for the for a start. <clears throat> um, I I I kicked it off not really knowing what I was going to write about or how I was going to write about it, but thought it would be cool and it would be fun. And I had some had some ideas, obviously, about what, what I was going to write. Um, and then the first, like, chapter or two was, 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 was pretty good. And then you get into this stage where the end is just not in sight and you're, you feel like you've written all you can and, like, no more pages are going to come and you just get stuck in this, like, hole, uh -huh. um, which I think is a happens in coding as well, if I'm honest, like product development. <laughs> you get this like um, trough in the middle. Um, so I had to like power through that and that was hard. Um, but I had a lot of support from the uh, publishers and I knew, no, I knew other people who had written and I got support from them and, and that was great. Uh, but yeah, it, it, was, it, was, it was definitely hard work. Uh, I, I would do it again, um, not right That's now. That's exactly what I was going to ask. If you have any plans for writing a second one, because uh, uh, a student also from Bigner Ranch, he, he I told him that I was thinking of writing a book, and he said, "Yeah, go ahead, write one, but never write a second. It's yeah, too much work, and it's not profitable." Uh, yeah, I mean, money, money, money aside, like um, I, I think I, I don't, I didn't do it, I didn't do it for the money. I, you know, I um, so. That doesn't factor into it for me. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I I like that I did it, but it was a lot of it was a lot of work. Um, so I, I think I could see myself doing another one again in the future when, you know, I could I could find uh, some something I could put a lot of effort behind and think I could write something good. Like a lot, I've heard a lot of people say, "When are you going to write Effective Swift?" I think that's ridiculous oh, okay. to write one now. I just don't think you could do that. Uh -huh. um, I think there's a lot of good resources out there on the internet already, and um, I contribute to like Ray, the RayWenderlick.com site and uh -huh. do a lot of Swift there. Um, and I think that's the right place for it. A, a, a book like doing doing, something, doing a book in the Effective series, it would just have to get updated um, again next year and then the year after. And those Effective books are really meant to have like a shelf life of like five years. What and they can, only, they can only really be written once the language is matured and patterns have evolved, um, and there are things that people are missing because um, they've been like glossed over over, over the years. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas with Swift, like we're all still learning it. Like everyone, you you can 
find out about everything already. There's nothing. There's no patterns that are emerging that aren't that would that haven't been carried over from from Objective C really. So I just don't think it's the right time for a book like Effective Swift right now. Okay. Okay. So uh, by the way, what do you think are the the skills that are uh, necessary for someone that wants to work on the iOS team at Facebook? What would you recommend? Yeah. What, uh, you know, in order to get your foot yeah, like, on the door. Yeah, the door. Yeah. That's a good question. Um, the first thing I would 